So how does one factor cubes? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I have been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And when it comes to factoring cubes or cube expressions, it might be a little intimidating, but once you see the pattern, it actually works out pretty well. So here's an example for you. Now, suppose you want to factor x cubed plus eight. Now, the first thing to do is to make sure that both terms are written in terms of cubes. Now, we know that x cubed is, of course, already cubed. Now, the question is, what number cubed is going to give you eight? In other words, what number multiplied by itself three times is going to give you the number eight? Well, after some thought, you'll come to the conclusion that eight is indeed two to the third power. Now, when it comes to factoring, basically you want to break it up as two parentheses like you normally would in regular factoring. So you have, however, one twist, a smaller parentheses and a larger parentheses. The smaller parentheses will have two terms, the larger parentheses three. Now, you break them up proportionally. In other words, for x cubed, there's going to be a smaller part and a big part. For example, it'll be x for the smaller, x squared in the larger parentheses. Now, for the 2 cubed, it'll be 2 and 2 squared. So as you can see, the smaller terms belong in the smaller parentheses and the larger go into the larger parentheses. Now, for the plus signs, two pluses normally make a plus, so that will go in here. But what about that third term? The third term in the larger parentheses is always going to be the two, the two terms in the smaller parentheses multiplied together. In other words, x times 2. Well, that's going to give you 2x, and that will take its place in the larger parentheses. Also with cubes, for every factoring of cubes, there will always be one negative and two positive signs. Since I already have my two positive signs here, the negative sign is the only place to go in there. Now, if I wanted to factor x cubed minus 8, same exact idea. The x would go here, x squared would go here. We know 8 is 2 cubed. 2 goes here, 2 squared goes up there. Now, for negative signs, to get a negative sign, you have a negative and a positive. Well, because you already have your negative, you know you need two positives. The positive sign has to go in there. As for the middle term, like we said before, if you multiply the two terms in the smaller parentheses, you will always get your middle term. x times 2 is going to be 2x. Simplify the 2 squared and you'll be finished. So, I'm Jimmy Chang and that's a demonstration on how to factor cubes.